Welcome back in. A very important conversation we're having. I'm so excited about this. I'm joined by Dr. Meg Hauser, a Mobile Native OBGYN with Infirmary Health's Mobile Bay OBGYN Center. She's an advocate for educating potential and expecting mothers about pregnancy and postpartum. All of that is so important, of course, and you've been chronicling this all on an Instagram account recently. <laughs> That's your latest adventure, right? Yes, I have been. So a lot goes on when you are pregnant. You're also a doctor. And then you've got this Instagram account that I just checked out. I was telling you about earlier. <laughs> um, you're doing a whole lot and it's all for a great purpose just to educate others, right? All for education, for empowering women to understand the normal mm -hmm. changes that our bodies go through during pregnancy, um, being able to recognize normal from abnormal. Um, and kind of just seeing how I, as an OBGYN, navigate through the healthcare system mm -hmm. and go through these same challenges that, that we all go through. Why is this so important, really, education for women, right? Education is huge. There's mm -hmm. so much information out there now, um, which is great. We have so much information at our fingertips available on the internet, but there's a lot of misinformation too. Um, so the value of good quality maternal education has been shown to decrease m maternal and neonatal morbidity and mortality, mm -hmm. um, helps to improve pregnancy outcomes. We've seen that with formal community education programs like the childbirth and um, delivery classes, the breastfeeding groups that are offered at the Mobile Infirmary mm -hmm. um, and other hospitals. So this is kind of an, an adjunct way to, to reach the people who are looking for other sources of information on social media. Yeah, because you know sometimes we get in trouble by our doctors like stay off of Google and social media because <laughs> you can see some of a little bit of everything out there but hearing from a doctor and goes is going through it themselves that's got to be a unique and a great perspective to see so talk about a little bit about what you've been posting some specific posts on your Instagram sure well recently I got my Tdap vaccine mm -hmm. so talked about vaccines um, why Tdap is so important in pregnancy to prevent pertussis or the whooping cough um, in neonates so I kind of documented that mm -hmm. I I showed the struggle of drinking the glucose drink. I can <laughs> totally commiserate with that. Yeah. I've had a lot of nausea this pregnancy and it mm. is really kind of a rough experience to go through um, that, but, but I did it. I recognize the importance of it mm. um, and want to show some solidarity. Yeah. Um, it's an important test and I believe in it. And so it is. And mm. as just having a child myself in September, I am all like advocacy for all of this postpartum too, including absolutely. There's so much that goes into it that people don't know about until you're going through it really. So absolutely. And I really want to normalize that conversation mm -hmm. and bring that into the forefront. We should be talking about it more. Um, some of the normal kind of challenges that we go through in pregnancy and postpartum. Yeah, and talk about before we let you go infirmary health and just any kind of classes that folks can get involved in if or women can get involved in if they're pregnant. Absolutely. We have so many um, different opportunities for childbirth education, for labor and delivery classes, tours of labor and delivery. There are breastfeeding um, support groups where you can meet in person, mm -hmm. bring your baby, kind of go through some of the challenges yeah. that, that we face in trying to, to feed our children. Um, so a lot of support all available at the infirmary website, infirmaryhealth.org. All right, infirmaryhealth.org is that website. Your Instagram handle is Dr. Underscore Meg underscore does underscore pregnancy, right? That's right, Dr. Meg does pregnancy. Awesome, so you can look it up there for more information. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me, Shelby. Of course, we wish you all the best of luck with your new Thank baby you. on the way. <laughs>